Welcome to our virtual classroom. Join me for some fun learning. Hello, it is Miss Nicole of Legacy Lineage Online Learning. Thank you for joining us. Well, I have had a fun week. We have been talking about our feelings and we read a bunch of stories that talked about feelings. We featured Mabel's mask, which talked about how it feels for different children to have to wear their masks. We talked and we read about Miss Nelson missing. Also, we did a silly fun one that was about Grover being scared of himself, the monster at the end of the book. And we first started off the uh, week just learning about feelings. And remember, we are doing all this um, to talk about feelings and to have fun because right now people are what? Dressing in costumes. It's the time of year where some people celebrate Halloween. So I celebrate Halloween by teaching you guys more and more about your feelings. And we also, let's look at our emotions. Remember we had our emotion um, kit and I was telling your parents how to make that if you guys had a chance to make your own feelings paddle. We talked about being happy and sad. Remember we made the faces. Let me see your sad face. Yeah. And afraid in some of the stories and also what it feels like to be brave because sometimes when you're afraid and you you face what you're afraid of you are brave and that's what Grover was even though for most of the story he was so afraid actually I helped you guys to be brave and we turned the page and discovered that it was just Grover at the end of the page we also talked about other feeling words so if you say that you are feeling happy or good you could also say that you are feeling thankful or excited or comfortable. Um, if you're sad, maybe there's more than just being sad. Maybe you feel down or you're disappointed about something. And maybe if you're angry about something, you feel annoyed by. Remember I told you your sibling maybe is bothering you or you're grumpy. But I am excited because today's story is one of my favorites. I used to read this story to my son and I love it. It is called, There's a Nightmare in My Closet. Have you ever felt that way? That's why Miss Nicole wore her robe because it is bedtime and have you ever been afraid to go to bed because you think maybe there could be something in your closet i don't know I, I don't see anything back there so let's read this story and see i just see iron man and bumblebee here we go we're gonna sing a feeling song hello 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 and how are you i'm fine i'm fine and i hope that you are too Hola, hola, hola y como estas? Yo bien, yo bien, espero tú también. All right, there's a nightmare in my closet. Okay, here we go. See, there's nothing in there. There's nothing, there's nothing in the closet. There used to be a nightmare in my closet. Before going to sleep, I always close the door. Let me make sure this closet door is closed. Hold on guys, I'm just gonna make sure that I close the closet and make sure. Okay, so, so he always made sure that the closet door was closed. I was even afraid to turn around and look. Is it still closed guys? I hope so, it's not time for it to be open yet, so I hope it's still closed. He said he was afraid to look. Because sometimes when you're afraid and you don't feel brave, you are afraid to look. I, when I was safe in bed, I would peek sometimes. So let me, let me see. Let me get safe in bed. Am I going to give a little peek? Let me get my covers. Hold on. So let me get my covers. And oh, it says when I was, when I was safe in bed, I would peek sometimes. One 
one night I decided to get rid of my nightmare once and for all. So what he have? He have his Nerf gun, his handy dandy Nerf gun. And did I tell you before I read this story, I used to read this story to my son all the time. And he loves Nerf guns, so I thought I'd bring one with me because I know this boy is going to get rid of his nightmare. Here I go. He's going over to, uh-oh, it looks like as soon as the room was dark, I heard him creeping toward me. Quickly, I turned on the light and I caught him. Sitting on the foot of my bed. Go away, nightmare, or I'll shoot you, I said. I'll do it. I will do it. Oh, goodness. Let's see what happens. So I shot him anyway. My nightmare began to cry. I was mad, but not too mad. I kind of feel bad that I shot the guy, but I mean, I had no choice because he crept up on me. Nightmare, be quiet or you'll wake mommy and daddy, I said. Shh, but he wouldn't stop crying. So I took him by his hand. And, and I tucked him in bed. Sit down right here with me, Nightmare. It's all right. Shh. Well, you were trying to scare me, and, and I didn't know. And, and so I, I just shot you with my playpen gun. It's not even real. All right? So just quiet now, all right? Quiet. And I closed the closet door. I suppose there's another nightmare in my closet, but my bed's not big enough for three. Hope you have enjoyed our fun story times and just so you know i'm gonna wake up this nightmare this is not a nightmare this is my son and my guest who joins me all the time omari this was one of his favorite stories and how we talked about being afraid of monsters all right thank you for joining us Thank you for joining me. See you next time. And remember, you are the you in unique.